Sometimes, anyway. Here's Bill Geist. Ah, the peace and quiet of a suburban neighborhood. Shattered by unsettling, primal calls of the wild. But fear not, it's just Greg Hubble in his living room, blowing on a sawed-off wiffle ball bat to establish dominance over male elk and attract females. Although the nearest elk to Belmont, California, near San Francisco, is probably hundreds of miles away. Greg was just practicing. He's an elk calling champion. Do the neighbors complain? We've had neighbors walking across the street shaking their head, you know. His wife, Valerie. Well, I had never heard of elk calling until I met Greg, so that was, um, that was new to me. It can be challenging. I just understand that he just has to follow his dream and his passion and work around it. His son, Greg Jr., is an elk calling prodigy. At 13, he is a six-time world elk calling champion, and he just won the world duck calling championship to boot. It's just a fun thing to do. It's a hobby of mine. I like to win. I like to compete in contests. I like the attention on stage. I like the pressure. I guess that's the mark of a champion. Some people crumble. Some people thrive. I just love it. Mm -hmm. He is the Tiger Woods of out calling. The boy has a gift. Sure, I have a gift for it. I also practice a lot. It, it's not all natural. Nothing comes easy. He can do just about any species. Elk. Ducks. Turkeys. Wands. What's his ultimate goal? It's to become the greatest animal call in the history of the world. Dad admits to coming off a little pushy sometimes. I have to wear different hats, Bill. You know, I have to wear a father hat, and sometimes I gotta love him. And sometimes I gotta wear a coach's hat, and I gotta be tough on him. Does he get on you about practice and everything? Oh, yeah. It, it's, it, it happens. We work through it. And it's not like Dad doesn't provide positive reinforcement. Pooh, Bubba, put it away. Dude. That was off the charts. Tonight. The whole family is pretty competitive. Tomorrow. I've been the top seller in my Girl Scout troop since brownies. Greg's sister, Madison, just kicks butt in Girl Scout cookie sales. 1,256 boxes last year. And Valerie has won several California State Fair competitions. So the kids didn't have a chance. They were going to be competitive. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's about sell setting goals. It's about working hard to accomplish those goals. And it's about paying the price. The Hubbles also pay the price of hotels and airfares, traveling to competitions like the World Elk Calling Championships in Fort Worth, Texas. The 21st running of the World Championship Elk Calling Contest. Two days of mewing, <coughs> growling, <coughs> chuckling, <coughs> bugling, and just general caterwauling <coughs> through odd devices and contraptions by the best of the best. How tough was the competition? An elk couldn't win here. Joel Turner, the defending pro division champion, said you have to be driven. You know, I, I listen to CDs of actual elk sounds all the time in my vehicle, and so I'm just, I'm always studying exactly how that elk presents air to their vocal cords, how they cut it off, and what they sound like. Now, elk calling is not yet a huge spectator sport. For one thing, contestants turn their backs to the audience because judges are behind that curtain. Judges like Tom. The real sounds are what I'm listening for. I don't like any uh, 
showboating or fancy. All I want is to, that, them to sound like a herd of elk. Greg Sr. competed in the men's division, hoping to defend his 2008 title. He finished fifth this time. Greg Jr. entered the difficult voice division, where no diaphragm mouthpieces are allowed. And true to form, he delivered a virtuoso performance. Then father and son anxiously awaited the results. My dad has influenced me a lot on what I should dream for, dream big. If you work hard, you will accomplish what you want. Greg Hubble. Yeah. It was another world championship for Greg Hubble Jr. I just want to be the best in the world. Just kind of be a legend. I just want to be known, people. And just mark my spot in the animal calling world that I was wow. here. Oh, he's there, all right. Bad news for the neighbor. 